Good morning, good afternoon, whatever you take since it is a recorded lecture. Today we will learn about the red wine service. Yesterday, last time we did a white wine service, now we do a red wine. Now first of all we need to start that what you have to understand that what are the prerequisites we need to start the service of red wine. Obviously this is your red wine bottle, you need that first. Then you need this glass, then you need a decanter, then you need a coasters, right? Today we will see some interesting thing. We need a candle and we need a lighter also. Now why lighter and candle? We come to that later on. Because we are going to serve two different types of wine. Let us assume first of one that we have is that uh, it is a Sula, not Sula, it is a Nine Hills red wine it's made by Shiraj. So obviously it is a Shiraj red wine and it has been served on a straight one glass. So if it is a one glass situation then we do it in a different way. Then we also go for another wine which is a Jacob's Creek Cavendish Shiraj. It is an Australian wine. We are using water here. So in this Australian wine we do a decanting. We will also learn how to decant a heavy red wine. Heavy full body red wine. So let us start the service now. So let us assume that the guest has already been arrived here and he is going to order for a red wine. So what is the first thing that you should do? Yeah, the guest has ordered for Sula red wine, you need to make your salver. Your salver should be comprised of your red wine glass and then your coaster. You come over here and you just say basic concept of your uh, first aid. Mr. Bakes, first or something. Basic concept of your first for first year, right leg forward, put the coaster, guest is right handed, so you put the coaster there and put the wine glass here, right? This is the first job is done. We move back and then we do the red wine service. The guest is ordered for Sula, nine hills, one full bottle. While you serve this Sula red wine, what that time you need to do something different. Since it is a red wine, there is a chance of droplet. So we will just uh, make this survey very much nice and clear. And please, uh, Mr. Blake, please come to closer. Take a look what we are doing. We are creating a wine collar. Let us take a look. We are creating a wine collar. It is very simple to make. You can put it like this and then you can just tuck it around. Something like this. I, sorry, this uh, napkins are slightly shorter in size. So that is the reason this is creating a problem. Okay, I think I, am, I have done it here. Yeah. So just you tuck it inside and you got a wine collar ready. That is how your wine should be served. This is the way the bottle should present it. Now one second you come to the guest and then you uh, serve the things. So the guest is sitting over here and you can once again put your right leg forward. You can say sir it is a Siraj 9 minutes. Uh, would you like to try a glass of wine? So obviously that is a 10 ml it is a regulation. The rules the 10 ml that you need to serve first. While serving, you need to hold the bottle just like this. Take, take a look how I am holding the bottle. So I am holding the bottle just like this, okay? And I am holding it here. I need to show the brand towards the guest. So yes, while I hold, I hold it something like this. I open the cap, put my right leg forward, keep the cap in my pocket and then I will ask the guest just for uh, one guest. Right? So guest says that once again you can take a look how the guest is going to taste. He will swirl the wine just like this and then uh, you can close the camera see how I am smelling and drinking the wine. Let us take a look. So my entire nose and my entire mouth is inside the wine glass. This is the very interesting thing to understand. Yeah, I say it is good. Now I will go for the Obviously, it has to be good. There is no other option uh, because it's, we have got a water here, right? So once again, I put the wine cap inside our pocket and then we'll serve the wine. So it's uh, 150 ml. That is the standard pour we need to do, and then we turn the bottle and we say enjoy the wine. Now, once again, same thing. Guest has purchased this entire bottle, so we're not going to take away the bottle back. We'll what we do? We'll keep the wine bottle on the table. Wine is red wine is served at 15 to 18 degrees Celsius temperature, so obviously there is no need of a wine chiller. It will be kept like this. Now, what about this cap? Remember what we did in case of a white wine? We keep it on a uh, BNB plate or a coaster just to smell. Here we also do the same thing. We'll bring this coaster back and we'll keep this wine coaster over here. So the guest will sit over here. He will uh, enjoy the wine, and at the same time, we'll also. Smell the cap, cap, something like this. 
he will smell the cap something like this. So that's how the thing will happen. He is, he is smelling the cap. He is also drinking the wine. And remember one thing, I have put this brand, Nine Hills, in front of the guest. So he is watching and drinking. Because the fact is, if you go, if you serve this Shiraj wine to a French man, he will know better than anybody else. So that's the only reason uh, it has been advised to all that when you serve the red wine, you have to be served this thing, the bottle facing towards the guest. Okay, this is the main factor of the red wine service which I have served a light bodied wine. Now we go for the interesting thing. So now the guest has ordered for this wine. This is a wine which is a heavy full bodied wine. It has been aged, let's take an example, for 10 years. Now when there is an aging of red wine, when there is an aging of red wine, there is a possibility of a sediment. That's why the decanting use. We will learn this very interesting thing now. So now the guest is here. The guest has ordered for a Jacob Street wine. Exactly the same thing we do will, will, will be done. We will take the salver. We take the coaster here. And we put the coaster. Uh, I'm sorry. The coaster is already there. Okay. So we will put the coaster here. And then we will put the red wine glass. Question is wine now. Now here we do an interesting thing. Please take a look. I don't know there is a sediment or not. I don't know if there is a sediment or not. But there is a possibility, we have written the books, the more aging wine, there is a sediment. What are you clearing and finding? What are you going to do right now? We will do something really interesting. We will light this candle now. And it has to be done in front of the guest. So, guest is watching me, right? So, we will switch on this candle. First, please come closer, sir. Take a look at this fact. I have put some sand here. Sand dal leke karan yaha pe isko dikhai de raha hai. But reality mein jab aap wine service karoge, red wine mein aapko dikhai nahi dega because the entire wine is red. Red mein aapko black color nahi dikhai dega. So that is the reason you can take a look. There is some sediment. Okay. How do I remove this sediment? That's the big question because guest will not have the wine with the sediment. So what if what we have to do? A professional wine server. Here you need a sommelier. The professional sommelier, what he will do? He will do, he will first put this wine in a decanter. Now while he putting in the decanter, he will be doing something like this. And you can see clear look here all the sediments right over here okay so this is the reason this is the reason behind I mean it's very easy to look we are using a wraith a sand have been used and this is in water but in reality when there is a red wine you will not able to see this thing this is the reason this thing has been done now put the camera closer now sir you can take a look the sediment and this is the reason the candle is always switched on Okay, so the bottle is here. Now what we do, we will take the sal sal salver now. And we take this wine decanter. Now we take this bottle also, with, we keep the bottle over here because it is done in front of the guest. We will go and do a tasting as usual. Once the guest tastes this wine, uh, so he said that yes, that's fine, it's okay. Then we serve the real wine. And after this, serve this. We'll keep this decanter over here. This is happen once in a while. I mean, let me tell you one thing. This is a phenomena which happens when the guest order the most expensive wine of all time. Then only this thing will happen. What about this bottle again? Uh, it is exactly the same thing will happen. We'll take the collar up here. And uh, what we'll do actually, we'll just uh, make the collar here only. And we will keep this wine bottle just over here. Just like that we did in the last time. Jacob Street wine. And then we keep this cock open. And uh, as you can take a look here. So the cock is open and we can keep it over here so that the guest can smell and wine. And exactly it is look like this thing because I made it in a sand. I have hostel ke a little bit of a So that you can take a look at the sediment. Every time when guests drink this wine. 
he will call for a waiter and the waiter will come he decant the same wine with a candle and then he will serve this is a very very high level specialized service and remember one thing if this kind of wine serve in a restaurant the cost of the wine for one bottle is more than 1 lakh rupees like we have read in the book chateau mont mirault or we can like tell you chateau de quem chateau de petrus the greatest french wine chianti this kind of wines are served over there okay so that's how uh, this wine service is done sometimes it is also served in a wine cradle okay there is a wine basket or something like that in that it will be also served but generally cradle mein kya hota it has to be tilted like this so it's better that we keep it like over here and then it is easy for service it's a modern service method the first one that i show you it's the most common phenomena in everywhere but this is one which you need to keep in mind in case there is a high sediment wine comes okay All right thank you very much